Hello and welcome to another Maggie's beer review, or craft beer review even, as the channel implies. So, from local legends Bang the Elephant, um, this is their Mojo Jojo's Mezcal Mojito Mexican Honey Lime Mint Tequila Barrel Aged Golden Sour Ale. There's a lot of words there, isn't there? You know. Um, 8.2 percent we'll read what it says sugar spice and all things nice sugar and spice yeah uh, these are the things that mojo jojo hates the most tequila lime mint and honey are all the things mojo jojo likes the best good on him so when he's not trying to take over the world, there's nothing more that he likes than an ice cold mojito. This one's for you, Mojo. Something to do with Cartoon Network, apparently. I only read that somewhere. I mean, I don't watch Cartoon Network, so I won't know. So, today is Wednesday the... I don't know. 4th? 5th? Is it 5th? 4th? Is it Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> Ooh, lovely aroma. Definitely like the lime and mint coming off the aroma. Yeah, so today's Tuesday the 4th. Got that, got there in the end. So on Thursday the 6th, there's a charity event for Emperor's Brewery to, um, a charity event to win a brew day with Emperor's Brewery, Bang the Elephant, Castle Rock. Mm. Um, and also to win some, win the Castle, the Emperor's Collection, the last one of his four beers. And uh, I've actually entered the raffle to win one, so I, I hope it's not a big event uh, where they come around trying to scrounge money off you, because as poor. They fleece me for another three quid on top of the 30 quid bloody ticket people for going. But I'm going, I'm going to, I want to enjoy the night. It's basically a charity night come beer and food tasting. So looking forward to that. Um, over at the Embankment pub. Uh, last time I was there, <laughs> did a bit of bloody bingo calling. So anyway, I'll get back to the bingo calling. <laughs> It's funny, it is. So yeah, so yeah, bang the elephant, uh, golden, uh, a little bit of carbonation going off. Definitely smells top notch. Honey, lime, mint. Oh, it does what it says on the can. Oh. Oh. I do like that, that's nice. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> I was there, I was at Streetwise 2018, their um, Christmas do, and uh, I'd already had some 60% rum that one of my uh, colleagues had slipped me. Well, that did scrounge it off, mind you. Went in, had about four pints, as you do. And then someone was handing out some Jack Daniels, wasn't it? So, you know, as you do, you have a swallow. Jobs are good. And then there was something else. Well, God knows what it was. And anyway, the, um, they're giving out awards. Gardener of the Year. And I watched, and I'm like, you're taking the piss. I, I'm a million times better and hardworking. And it's like, And then it was Worker of the Year, and again, it was total and utter piss take. And, uh, and I'm there, and by that time, beer's got to be totally not happy, as you would be, you know. Um, and then, the, you know, the, the other side of Aggie got unleashed, the slightly side that don't give a sh absolute monkeys. And, you know, the aggr aggrieved side, so they shouted out this bingo. And literally for about half an hour, I'm shouting out numbers. 
So it's like 143 and it's like 143 and there's a 30 short, 30 second short on the channel. And uh, yeah, I think it was one of my finest moments. I had people kicking me, bit drink, giving me water to try and calm, try and <laughs> sober me up. Didn't work. Yeah. I enjoyed myself. Staggered home, got in the ass. I was alright after I staggered home. Fell asleep in the, t in the car though. Staggered home. That was a good one. Supposed to be out all night and all. Yeah, back, back, back girl it at about six o'clock. So my one and only time in the embankment. I do hope that no one recognises me. Oh, you're that gobby bloke from four years ago. Uh, <laughs> um, oh dear, oh dear. Food was nice though, to be fair. Yeah. And I presume it's going to be in the same room upstairs, unless they've got multiple rooms. I suppose it depends on how many people are going to this charity thing. So, I do know that Quite a few of the brewery, brewing, brewing community are going to be there. Um, Linear Brewing is going to be there. Mardi Bums are going to be there. Them little Mardi Bum Bums. Um, I think Navigation Brewery might be there. Emperor's Brewery is obviously going to be there because it's, it's his night. The last four of his beers. I think he brews another one, of course. But obviously, having Emperor's Brewery and Bang the Elephants and Castle Rock all on my doorstep. And they're all nice people. It'd be funny if I actually won the Abrudo, wouldn't it? Yeah. But in any case. So, yeah, it's, um, to say it's a sour, I wouldn't class this as a in-your-face sour. If you like your cocktails, like your lime and your mint, whatever, is it a margarita? I don't know, I'm not really a cocktail person. Mojito, yes. If you like that sort of thing, then this is really, really going to appeal to you because it's, it's a cocktail in beer form. Slightly sour. Ult ultimately very very drinkable um, available at Bang the Elephant's website might be available at Adventure Beer as well oh. after a 12 hour shift I need that another 12 hours tomorrow I know got to put pennies in kitty haven't you put pennies in, in electric meter Jesus Christ, these days, you chuck the, chuck, the, chuck the wallet at the meat. Yeah, I'll take it. Go on, take it. We don't care. We've had our one penny tax cut. Yeah. I'm glad to see that the rich have had theirs. Uh, it's been U-turned. Yeah. They might as well U-turn on the one penny as well for the, for the rest of us. Because it makes little to no difference at all. You know, stupid bloody conservatives. Hey. They need, they need a leader in this country who sees it as it is, tells it as it is, and uh, stops fanning around. You know, it's all right being political and all this, but, you know, you do something wrong, admit to it. And uh, if, the, if, if there's something wrong going it, off in this world, say it. You know, pussyfooting around. One main charge of the country. I'd sort him out. Good to see that girl that rubbed shit all over um, Captain Moore's um, statue is facing jail time. Good. Disrespectful bitch. Eh? Some of these idiots. If you're going to do something to make a statement, pick something that, not some harmless old man, pick something that, you know, me. Um, is worthy of doing that too. Do make me absolutely heave some of these idiots.
as somebody who suffers of anxiety and uh, suffered a bully, and make no mistake about it, this bloke was a bully, a manipulative bully. And there's the, I'll tell you what, there's more of them about than what you realise. And being told to man up, it's about time companies sorted themselves out as well. Too many companies get away with shoddy um, looking after their staff, really. People in, 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 you know, it happened in Sainsbury's with me where um, they were picking on people to put them on the tills. But the intention was to bully them out of the job. I know this. We all know it who work there. People, you know, they didn't want to do tills, so they left. Five of us left off one department. What does that tell you? And do the job, do the job brilliantly. But run on tills, bridge too far. Bring, they bring out the old nugget. Oh, for the needs of the business. Yeah. And some jumped up little squirt walking around who's just come out of university who knows nothing about people and he's got he's, he's got an um, um what do you call it a degree oh i know everything because i've got a degree you know nothing boy girl you do know nothing about the, the life how to talk to people qualifications are only so far in that sort of thing how you are I'd make a great boss because I'm a nice person. So I'll have a drink. <laughs> no, I've never had a drink, I'm all right. Until I get on my eye off, so then, then that's something else. But there you go. Hey. Ooh. Typical raggy review, this one. Um, as always, all about the beer. Beer's at the forefront, that's why the beer sits there. Absolutely love this brewery. Uh, they're coming to Robin Hood Beer Festival and they are bringing the fucking bus. Um, there's two or three breweries that are really, in fact there's probably about four breweries that are really cranking up. There's actually a couple, actually one or two letdowns, but I won't let you know who they are, I won't tell you who they are. Um, I'm friends with some of the breweries, so don't stir the shit too much. But... Um, I'm being good, I'm being good. But um, there's a, the Bang the Elephant are bringing out their range of beers is stunning. So depending on what day you go, you because they've only got so many pumps, they've got like 19 fucking beers, but only about 10 pumps. So obviously it's what it is. Um, but beer to look out for, the beer to look out for is Lumiere. I'm going down on the Wednesday. I'm going down on the Friday. I hope to God I actually get it this time. Um, the new version. Because there's going to be a raggy review. I'll do it in front of them. And, uh, and I'll drag them in on the review as well. Why not? Eh? Why not, I say? Yes. As for this, does what it says on the tin. Honey, lime, mint. It's a sour. There's tequila there. It's an absolute stunner. If you love cocktails but you're not into beer, this is your, this is that bridge. That bridge for you to join the world of beer drinkers. And a slightly longer review tonight. I've sat down and I can't be asked to go up. And uh, I need to calm down on the beer reviews because I've been rattling out the beer reviews of late. And there's been too many. Um, partly because of last um, uh, stuff at the weekend. Um, there's going to be beer reviews at the Robin Hood Beer Festival. There's going to be a shed load of content. Uh, I'm going to get my little microphone thing that I you, you walk around. Uh, I'm going to put my f um, SIM card into my new phone. Um, and hopefully, you know, it'll all be tickety-boo. And, uh, yeah. And the first live off my new phone will possibly be Thursday night. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but in any case, stunning beer from my good pals at Bang the Elephant. 
um, lovely people uh, and they're good ladies as well and uh, you know I like genuine people I do not and never will like fake people tell a fake from a mile off and uh, and I, I can't warm to fake people and I can't warm to tittle tattle as I have it that tells stuff about you to somebody else and, and, and nice to your face and it's like yay shit bag um, but uh, you get a lot of it in the life life's full of it isn't it hey it's like your family you know hey can't choose your family you can choose your friends as I have done in fact, most of the friends I've got, if they class me as a friend, that's another thing, um, are from the beer community, funnily enough, and from, from the YouTube beer community. Isn't that weird? Hey, just goes to show you that uh, even though I'm quite somebody who sits in the background, well, maybe not this year, maybe not. Depends what happens on Thursday night. <laughs> Depends how brave I am. I'm getting braver, I am, because there's times where I wouldn't go down to... Um, tap rooms or craft beer launches and things and um on my own you know I try and drag the wife down she's not interested in the slightest and uh, so i'm getting braver thursday night next wednesday next saturday that uh, friday rather um and then next and the week on sunday as well because uh <laughs> we're in york and then um, then we're in Filey, and uh, when we're in Filey, we'll be going around Yorkshire. So we may pop into other places, and uh, we're looking to, anyway, at least, and experience some the tap rooms and that of Yorkshire, uh, uh, where as best we can, at least, and uh, meet up with people if we can, of course, if, at least, if we can. Um, it's been a good old long review. Um, been a chit chat review. I like chit chat reviews, it's not always about. You know, just doing a four minute review. I can't be done with short reviews anyway, because, you know, I need to chat. This is my, I enjoy beer. I like to talk about the beer. I like to talk about the brewery. If I know the brewery at least, especially if I know the brewery. And a, a little bit of a chit chat, put the world to rights. It's what we do in the pub. It's why we do drink. It's why we go out for a beer. We'll go out, we'll have a drink. We'll, we'll talk about the beer. We'll talk about a bit of life. Hey ho, I'm like the extension of a pub in some ways, um, without being the big headed twat, of course. Uh, so, out of five, for me, um, yeah, a good, bloody phone, um, a good 4.45 out of five. I enjoyed the, um, the elements, got all the elements. And loving these different beers from Bang the Elephant, you know. They certainly do push the different styles out. And certainly one of the UK's um, most prevalent for pushing boundaries. And uh, I know this. The local community who drink their beers know this. It's just a shame that the old country doesn't know yet. It'll come. It'll come. Thank you for watching. Yeah. See you soon. Cheers.